Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we are going to be doing a bit of a challenge video. Uh, today we are going to be taking our scout and we're going to be doing the green beard only challenge or green beard challenge, but on a deep dive since we haven't tried this before. Um, we're going to the Azure Weld. I'm going to be taking my scout. We're going to have Skull Crusher's Ale. Uh, we're only going to have one active perk and one passive perk. For active perks, I decided to take Beastmaster so we can get a Steve. And then for passive perks, I got Resupplier so we can get resupplies back faster. Other than that, we are running absolutely nothing on any of our stuff. No anything on the Flare Gun, Boomstick, GK2, nothing. So... Um, you could argue that, well, a green beard couldn't actually do a deep dive because you would at least have to be promoted once. But that doesn't mean you necessarily have played the... But that doesn't, <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have spent a ton of money on anything in particular. Um, the only thing I think that I get from this is actually the upgrades to the suit. Because I think if you don't have anything equipped, you still get the passives. Uh, which I would recommend upgrading your suit and your pickaxe probably first over your weapons. Uh, simply because power attack is really useful, it gets you a lot of extra value, and having extra health on your suit is just really nice. Um, after that, then probably start upgrading your weapons and picking things that you feel like you want on the guns. Um, same goes with your equipment. I would also recommend getting like the grapple hook fixed up pretty quick. Um, that's right, we have skull crushers, so bugs, not an issue. We got Morkite and kill a dreadnought. Okay, Morkite is actually probably going to be more difficult in this biome just because it's kind of difficult to see. Yeah, like I'm not used to the slower movement of the grapple hook at all. I'm much more used to the the fast pace, like it goes instantly. And if you guys end up liking this, then maybe I'll do this each week with a different class. I've been doing the uh, non overclock run throughs with the elite deep dive with the other classes and so far the only one we haven't done is scout i mean we can still do it with them with like the other weapons too if you guys want to see that as well take, it easy. There we go. take you out boomstick still does a lot of damage and the gk2 even without upgrades is still okay at least their range Bosco, I forgot to take things off. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm saying I forgot to take things off Bosco, but that's all right. <laughs> so I borrowed a Greybeard's Bosco. That's all. I think that was the excuse people said when I forgot to take stuff off Bosco or didn't take stuff off Bosco the last time I did like a green beard challenge. I need the mule right here. I really should also just put like bigger mineral bags on this suit just so I can hold 45 things. Like I don't think that gives you any real advantage. It's kind of nice to have. I gotta do the dreadnought part of the mission. There's also any modifiers at all on this mission too. I just noticed that. So that means the next two will have negative modifiers. Um, I hope they aren't too bad. I hope it's not like Swarmageddon with who knows what else. Help me with the minerals here. Try top down. Let's Rock seriously need to invest in some better equipment. Oh, that's right. I can have a Steve. Yeah. You're my new best yeah, it's UV Steve since I. I've been forgetting about that. Where do all these minerals And go? I didn't see like a slasher or a guard or anything. Bosco, mine it. This Bosco, could you mine that? I'm gonna go over here and try to land on this. Success. <laughs> oh guys, we're Mag Terras. So far there hasn't been a whole lot down here. Like I found a decent amount of Morkite. We're actually almost done with that, but no, the players are in terms of everything else, it's just been Nitra and I don't even know where the dreadnought is. Contact. Take him out, team. Uh, yep, here they come. Take him out, Bosco. Uh, 
Yeah, I only need 25 more. 25 more and more kites. And wherever the heck this dreadnought is. Looks like it's further down, okay. I was gonna use my big axe power attack, then I realized I don't have it. Yeah! <laughs> so that's kinda disappointing. <laughs> That didn't I? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I mean, even though I don't have. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Slayer style coming in clutch here. No, not used to the slow rate of fire either with the player gun. Usually I have the faster one just out of convenience. Alright. Hive guard. Yeah. I think I called him the resupply pod. This is gonna take a bit. Looks like we'll have plenty of nitro going into the next mission though. Useful if we get like a Akon mission or something next. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that actually killed that pretty fast. I don't know if it really would. Figured the boomstick would. The boomstick does a lot of damage. Boomstick again. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Final stage. I'm surprised the GK2 is doing as much damage here. Yeah, this stage is set to stage, what, three and a half or something? Or three? It's like, Dreadnought shouldn't have the most amount of health, but still. Yeah. We'll just, yeah, just the pickaxe. Objective completed. Uh, I'm taking some of the ammo. Alright, I'll just grab two of these. There's no reason not to, just so that we top off everything. Head out. We'll head to the next stage. We'll continue our green beer challenge. Objective completed. More kite quota met. Wow. All your objectives are completed. Drop pod I'm also not used activation. to the players burning out so quick. Drop pod on return vector. Nicely done. All right. Let's go back, everybody. Drop pod has arrived. 
Shooting the mule. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. Um, how are we going about this, Molly? I guess I'll just wait for Molly and then we'll see where we're going. I think Molly's gonna head up though. Yeah. <laughs> through here. Oddly glowing wall. Might just be an odd. Yeah, it's just an oddly glowing wall. Okay. <laughs> you never know, because sometimes you can see gold vein or like a gold chunk through them, but. The mule is secured. Initiating launch sequence. You're not there. Alright, let's go. To the next stage. Close call as always. Close call as always. <laughs> Again? I don't think we had any two close calls. Don't have a whole lot of nitro, but it's enough. Nightera Plague, Alien Eggs, Recover Black Box. Okay. We're definitely gonna need a resupply or two for this mission. Just because it's gonna take us a decent amount of shots to get through the hordes that are gonna be showing up from the eggs and from the actual recovery. Nactera Plague's a little bit annoying, but not so bad as Scout because we do have range. It'd be a bit more annoying if we were doing this with like Driller or something. Let's go. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on running and Alright, that's not so bad then. Get us this nitra. Uh get us some even more nitra. Oh there's a black box. Okay. I probably want to get rid of all of this stuff right away, though. I didn't reload this. It's still rather nice that we can actually outrun the Magterra's bit. I think if this is on the last board, we wouldn't be able just to do that. We'd be taking a lot more just passive damage. that I don't really have much crowd control, so. We'll just click them one at a time <laughs> as they come. All right, let's build this up. We cleared up all of the, the main issues right now. Then we can start getting them eggs. Which it looks like we've got, let's see, one, two, three, I think right over here. And then another one or two behind me. So I think almost all of them are here except for maybe one or two of them. Black box activated. Keep close and keep it safe while it sends back its mission data. Team, 
Okay. Oh, that's right, we can get a Steve. I should have got a Steve. <laughs> Even though Steve probably won't help us that much on this mission because of the Smack Terra Plague. But he can at least go beat up the other potential Steves that we could have gotten. I'll listen to you. Supplies are on the way. Oh, I needed to get rid of that. Okay, we're getting beat up a little bit by these guys. Not so much with the uh, grabber just taking me out of that. Okay, maybe there's only four in here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four. no five. Yeah, maybe. Can't tell if that one's actually in here or not. Stay by my side. All right, thank you, Bosco. And you can get that one too. I'll take out the Mactera, Steve. You take out the, the regular grunts. There's still two hordes to come. Okay, what are the odds of us getting it in the next one? I guess 50%? I guess it would be technically less if you count the other ones, but still. Oh no, I guess it would be technically more if you counted the others. That we've already popped. Yes, mind that one, Bosco. They killed Steve too, I just heard that. Oh, you've already got that one, Bosco. Never mind. Um, go for that one. Away all that nitra. Light is up. Contact. Four. Uh, wait six. So twelve. Yeah. Okay, there's the other one. Of aliens heading your way. Molly. Let's go. Okay. Nice pair. Nightmare, no. Find it. Alright. <laughs> power attack <laughs> Alright, Bosco, you can put that down. I'm gonna need you over here anyway. Okay. Minor problem, I ran out of shots. <laughs> Here we go. Away we go. <laughs> uh, four more shells. Four shells in a dream. Two shells in a dream. One shell in a dream. No shells anymore. Alright, flare gun it is then. Gonna need to take him out with this. Oh, sorry, Angel. Can I make a Steve? No, not yet. I can't take him out with the flare gun, though. <laughs> flare gun actually does a decent amount of damage per shot. It's just you don't get very many shots. Uh oh, I'm stuck in the goo.
<laughs> get him, boss, go. I need to get ammo. Oh, those could have been potential Steve's. Okay. Well, that was only one horde. We still got another one to deal with. Ah, there we go. Wow. <laughs> I'm always surprised at how fast Bosco can mine with that faster mining. Alright. We can actually just call this then. We don't really have to wait. It took a while to actually get here. This is kind of... It wasn't really that bad actually getting here. It's just kind of confusing the way that this is laid out. Alright. It would have been far simpler if I just played Driller. Then I could have just drilled right to it. <laughs> All right. I'm not scared of you. Oh, down there. Okay. Lighting up. Watch me fly. Okay. Can I actually? Yes. No, that. Well, it was, it was a good idea in theory. That's so great in execution. <laughs> uh, I'd like to leave that situation. Sit here and dodge. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Did not see that one up there. Alright, Buzz, go. It's up to you now, buddy. Finish the mission. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> see you around, Buzz, go. Alright, let's see what we got on this next stage. That's the first down so far, which is good. I never know how these green beer challenges are gonna go. Because I've tried practicing them before and ended up dying like right away, all of just getting all of my deaths out of the way. Um, and then other times they actually work pretty well. Rival Presence, 200 Morkai, Black Box. Alright, Rival Presence is a little bit annoying, but the Assault Rifle and the Shotgun should be okay for it. Uh, mining should be pretty straightforward. Black Box, I think we can do this. I think this one's pretty doable. Even without any sort of mods or overclocks or anything like that. Then I can actually get a Steve that might do something this time. Steve's just not great on Magterra uh, plagues since he can't really focus them down. Um, okay, I am hitting it. I was hitting something else before that. I'd like to get rid of that sniper turret. Yeah. Shotgun, go! <laughs> you never know how consistent boomstick's gonna be. Sometimes it's surprisingly decent at longer ranges. Really depends on if you get a lucky spread or not. This. I don't know if I need any more. Oh, hey, there's a golden loot bug here. Hang on, I must go pet him. Bosco's mining with your ass. I heard a menace. Hey, little guy. How are you? Oh, you're doing good, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Blip the size of a drop pod. Alright. The second one or no, nah, I was just dying. Okay. I don't know if I want to go ahead now or not. I don't think it'll be too bad. Oh, there's the black box. I don't think I want to do that while there's still a horde going on though. Yeah, 
patrol bot just left. Did I lose my other patrol bot or did he get stuck somewhere? Alright, that's like 99-ness and then we'll, I guess, deal with the horde if it ever shows up. If not, we'll just do this. Sounds like they're kind of showing up now. I'm Steve. Fight for me. Back there, just fighting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Steve looked like he was just back there fighting. I get crushed right now. Oh, yeah, I want some shotgun shells for this. Even though we may only need to use our assault rifle, you never know. Alright. Protect this black box. Then we just need 100 more more kite, which I found some more kite, but nothing's really been happening besides that horde. I think a lot of these mining missions, they're not always the most action-packed. <laughs> Part of him. We rock. Yeah. Seventy-five percent, team. Okay. I heard more stuff over here, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna show up right away. It could be stuck like that last horde. <laughs> they'll start pouring in, but not until after we. Already killed our way through most. Oh, sorry, Steve. Transmission completed. We've got all the data we needed. Well done, team. Nicely done, Steven Bosco. Nicely done. Okay, I don't need any more. <laughs> I have exactly enough. Pick that up just for good measure. All right, let's go then. Let's get out of here. Uh oh, there's something I can kill before they almost spit. I guess we'll just follow Molly. 
no real reason not to. But this went pretty well. This week's deep dive doesn't seem too bad. It seems a little bit um, time consuming with the mining and with like the eggs and uh, building and stuff. But other than that, it doesn't seem like it's super difficult. Even with the very last mission I haven't read with presents on it. I'll follow you. We better hurry. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just get rid of the oppressor while we're at. Oh, we got swimmers. Grab this. And then where's Molly going? Okay. I was afraid she would just climb right up through the uh, the drop pod area and then we would never see her again. Hey little buddy! I'm seeing you again. Good to see that you're doing well. Onward, my trusty steed. Oh, you gave me some money even. Thank you. Well, he totally could have just climbed up through the drop pod hole. But she didn't want to, though. Um, there we go. That's a try job. What a jaw dropping experience! Let there be noise! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Back to the surface, and that is our Green Beer Deep Dive Challenge completed. That wasn't bad at all. That was very doable. Maybe this week just wasn't that bad? Maybe I've just gotten more used to not having anything on my weapons? It's hard to say. I also, I guess, didn't pick Green Beer type attire, but whatever. Only 215 kills, not a whole lot of kills. It did take some time though. Probably just from the mission types and the fact that I didn't have all the stuff that I normally have. Well, thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you've been putting off the deep dive because you've been waiting for like overclocks or you've been like really wanting to tune your gear, hopefully this kind of shows that you really don't need much to do the regular deep dives most of the time. Some of the, Sometimes they're kind of difficult. Uh, the Elite Deep Dive this week is also not that bad too, so if you've been putting that one off, I would suggest trying it out. For it being in the Magma Core, it's actually quite chill, which is a little bit weird. Usually that place is kind of scary. Thanks everybody for watching this, I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel, these are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos just like this, and if you'd like to be part of it, you can. There are links down in the description. Thanks everybody who does that, it does help out the channel a lot. Uh, you guys take care, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye!